Thanks for tuning back in. The silliness continues with the dumb birthday game from October 11th, 1992. Our title? A Hopping Good Time. The players. John from Amherst, Howard in New Hampshire, Bertha from Rhode Island, Bonnie and Andover, a first-timer, Charity in Rockland, I'm producing and playing in studio, and Bill Wilson is in traffic. The birthdays. Eleanor Roosevelt. Eh, she's dead. Daryl Hall, Roy Scheider, and then we move to October 12th, Luciano Pavarotti. Then October 13th, Art Garfunkel. Then October 15th, Penny Marshall and Linda Lavin. And then October 16th, Suzanne Summers and Angela Lansbury. Episode 159, A Hopping Good Time, leaps its way to your ears in three, two, and one. So we're going to play the dumb birthday game. Let me introduce you to members of the panel, which looks exciting. We have John, who's out in Amherst, playing the game with us today. Nice to have you with us, Big John. Hi, Uncle Norm. I assume you received my mail. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's, oh I caught you off guard. Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, I, I don't remember now. When did you send that? Uh, I, I sent it about two hours after Paul did his fifth covered bridge joke. During the last couple of birthday oh, games, I see it. Maybe it may be out there. May not have gotten to it. I'll have to check. Anyway, we also have with us Howard, who's in New Hampshire. Hi, Howard. How are you, Norm? Good. Thank you. Is this your first crack at this? No, I I've done it before. Oh. I won on my birthday in February, oh, and then okay. I played one more time and didn't do quite as well. Okay. Well, I hope I hope today you do well. But I just wanted to say for that lady that was upset at, uh, about uh, Cinderella. Yes. What would she think of Snow White? I mean, what would they? What could they say about Snow White living with those no, seven dwarfs? Yeah, no, I brought that up as a matter of fact, that very same topic. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. Oh, I didn't hear you. Yeah, I'm sorry. no, no, because that's right. Here's a single young lady living with these seven gnarled little midget old guys. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I would. I'd be upset by that myself. Well, what about Jack and the Beanstalk? He stole the giants, all the giants' possessions, and then chopped down the. The um, the and 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 killed the poor man. That wasn't nice, was wasn't it? A very nice man. <laughs> it wasn't a nice man at all, too. No. And and, uh, and uh, Goldilocks. What right had she to break into a house owned by the three bears and, and eat their up food? All the furniture. That's right. <laughs> Slept in their bed, ate their food. I mean, no wonder they got angry. <laughs> no wonder she had a runaway. That's true. And no, Jack I don't and know. Jack and and Jack broke his crown, the Jack and Jill. You think they were really going up the hill just for water? I think I think they had other things in mind <laughs> myself personally. I've always been suspicious of that. Okay, and we have uh, Bertha who's uh, down in Rhode Island. Hi Bertha. Hi. How are you? I'm just fine. Thank you. Happy New Year to you. Thank you very much. I, I was just thinking does that man who wrote the book about Cinderella does he want to make some money and make it look like Madonna? I don't know. That You may have given somebody an idea, though. You know? And I love when you interject Yiddish words. It makes me feel so good. Okay. I'm sorry I don't know more of them than I do, but I'll see if I can pick them up. I love it. Okay. Here's Bonnie, who's in Andover, one of the very pretty cities, up, uh, pretty towns, as a matter of fact, up in uh, Essex County. How are you doing, Bonnie? Good morning, Norm. How are you? I'm just fine, thank you. You've played the game with us before? Never, first time. First time. Oh, well, welcome, and we'll be terribly gentle with you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, we have, and Charity, who we talked with earlier today, who's uh, in Rockland. Good and, morning. Uh, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Charity. I'm glad you stayed up this late. Oh, sure, I work nights. I'm always up. Oh, what kind of work do you do? Uh, I work in the office of Jordan's Furniture. And you work nights? Yeah. All night? You stay second, up all night? No, second shift. I work till 10 o'clock. Oh, I see. Do you work in a place where they have that, uh, what do they call it? Motion that? Odyssey movie. Uh, Motion Odyssey yes. movie? Yes, I do. You work in the Avon place. Right. That, that's supposed to be sensational. Have you have you sat through it? Yes, I have. Did it scare you? Uh, no. I couldn't stop laughing, actually. Really? Because a, a friend of mine sat through that, and he said that was so realistic, and with the chairs moving and stuff, and... He, he 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 said it was really scary. Oh, I I love roller coasters and and things like that. I loved it. Oh yeah. But I actually like the they have a laser pre-show, 
which I feel is even better than the ride because the, the music is terrific and, and the lasers are, are really incredible. Are you a beautiful lady? Because you have a great voice. <laughs> <laughs> I love that question. You're going to make Nor me blush now. Cut that out. Okay, I won't, I won't pursue the question. <laughs> because voices, as if anybody who's looked at me, know the voices have nothing whatever to do with your physical appearance, but you do have a great voice. I was mentioning last time I talked with you, you ought to be doing an all-night show. You could wipe out our audience totally. Oh. All the guys would be listening to you. I we have still be working second shift, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's right. Well, the, the, well, the, is this the second shift? This would be the third shift. Uh, well, or maybe the first me, shift, I don't know. Anyway, we have uh, uh, Tony is with us, too. Tony Nesbitt, our producer. Hello, Tony. Uh, a regular customer of Jordan's Furniture. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. Well, that's very nice. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, the only thing silly about Jordan's is the two guys who do the commercials. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'll tell you, the people who work there <laughs> are very nice looking. Maybe they should put me on with my voice. What's that, please? Maybe they should put me they on They because they have such heavy New England accents. They're kind of fun. I, you know, I don't <laughs> resent them any. Hi, sit in this chair here. <laughs> and they don't talk quite the recliner. Quite and they're the same in person, too. They talk that same silly they're way in person. Same. I see them every day. They're the same <laughs> way. Okay. <laughs> we also have uh, Bill Wilson with us, our WBC Ace Traffic Reporter. Hi, Bill. Hi, Norm. I'm, I'm an owner of a sofa with a secret. <laughs> oh, I see. Just, just what I want. I want to put a, a bottle of soda under my aunt's butt. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah. Oh, that is just sounds just so darn wonderful. <laughs> That's great. Okay, it's time now to play the dumb birthday that game. Is a secret, Bill. And as you know, what I oh, do well. is hello. Yeah. What, what, what <laughs> I do sorry. is to tell you the names of people born. What, what we'll do is. Uh, there aren't too many uh, birthdays today, October 11th, although today is the birthday of one of my great heroines. Uh, Eleanor Roosevelt was born on October 11th. I think she was one of the great ladies of history. Uh, but aside from Eleanor Roosevelt and maybe a couple of other people, not too many people born in the state, so we'll pick birthdays from throughout the entire week. Uh, a lot of, uh, uh, that, that should be interesting. We'll start with you, John, and I'll ask you, Daryl Hall of the team of, uh, what's the what's the full Hall name? Hall and Oates. Hall and Oates, okay. How old is uh, Daryl Hall of Hall and Oates today, Big John? Oh, 39. <laughs> Are, you, are you sure it's 39? I'll mark that down, 30, you know... 39. I was mentioning yesterday when we brought up uh, Jack Benny, you see, that uh, that HBO has uh, has had a special, and I think it'll, it, it's going to be repeated about four or five times this month. If you, get, if you have HBO, by all means watch it. It's some of the stuff, the stuff is absolutely great. He does a skit, I'll get, uh, we'll get back to the game in a second, but <laughs> he does a skit where he is the father and uh, John, uh, Jack, the Jack Benny is played by uh, uh, Johnny Carson, who's always done kind of a Jack Benny anyway. And at one point, at one point, Johnny Carson is going off to school or something, or going off to work. I have to leave now because I have to go up and earn a living. And he's doing, he's doing Jack Benny. And there's Jack Benny there saying, uh, Jack Benny says, it doesn't matter how much money you make as long as you're happy. And Johnny Carson does that Jack Benny take, you know. He stares at him like, what did this man say? <laughs> uh, anyway, you have to watch it. But it's a very, very funny hour. Uh, if you, you get a chance me. to see it. Shut up and get on. Well, I hope, <laughs> uh, you know, I hope I, let's go to New Hampshire, you know. Uh, and Howard, how old would you say Daryl Hall is? Well, I don't really, I have an idea who he is. I'm going to say, I was going to say 39 to get you to go into the routine, but somebody beat me to it. <laughs> so I'll say 41. 41. Uh, and Bertha, what do you think? 41. 42. 42, you'll say. And uh, uh, Bonnie, what do you think? Um, how about 44? How about 44? We'll mark that down. And uh, Charity... I would say 43. 43. Uh, what do you think, Tony? How old is uh, Daryl Hall today? 40. 40. And what do you say, Bill? 42. Bill? 42. <laughs> well, 42. Where were you? You were talking to... <laughs> he's, in the, he's in the I hall. was watching Hawaii 5 0. <laughs> were you really doing that? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I well, just had no, I just I had to part it down because I heard some background noise. Okay, I didn't. I wouldn't mind if you were walking, uh, watching some in, 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 in the. 
infomercial. <laughs> oh, yes. With that guy, is his name Levy, who does all this crappy junk stuff? Yeah, Mike Levy. <laughs> oh, that's all. Let's set fire to the engine, to the uh, the hood here, and see how nice and smooth that comes out. <laughs> the Y50 is on. It is on. Nice it is. He's, he's watching it then. Oh, he's yeah. not fooling us. <laughs> okay, the actual age of Daryl Hall today is 44 years old, which is what Bonnie said. She hit it right on the button. And a lot of you were very, very close to that. They all followed my lead, as you know. That's right. You said you said thirty nine, and uh, but Bonnie Bonnie hit it right on the button. Okay, uh, Roy Scheider, the actor, Jaws. who was in Jaws. That's right. He's Blue been Thunder. In Blue Thunder. He was also a dancer in something, wasn't he? In one of the uh, musical movies, All That Jazz or something. Yeah, All That Jazz. All that jazz. Was, that's right. That was Roy Scheider. Let's start with you, Bill. How old? You know, is Roy Scheider today? Oh, it's us say uh, 59. 59. Okay, and uh, Tony? 58. 58. 58, okay. And what do you say, Charity? And whatever you say, I hope you say it softly and, and <laughs> let it linger for a while. <laughs> I would have to say uh, 57. Fifty-seven. Oh, that lingered just, oh, just that, right. That was nice. That really kind of dropped it in there. Really Ooh. nice. That was nice. Yeah. My heart's a flutter. <laughs> yeah. And Bonnie, what do you say? I'm going to say sixty. 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 Oh, Bonnie sounds pretty good too. Yeah, she does. And so does Bertha. <laughs> Bertha, what do you say? How old is Roy Scheider today? I don't even know who he is. Oh, Roy Scheider. You don't know who Roy Scheider is today? The sheriff in charge. That's right. He yeah. was the sheriff, yeah, of this uh, Cape Cod community. Or the police chief, I think. Not yeah. the sheriff, but the police chief. Oh, I'll take 58. 58. Without even knowing who he is. Okay. And Howard, what do you say? I'll say 56. 56. used to be a joke about that. guy goes in and says, uh, <laughs> I wonder if I could have a, a, a drink. Or I guess they were telling a guy, uh, uh, the, this... Uh, this grasshopper that they uh, named a drink after him. You know, grasshopper, they named a drink after you. And he said, they named a drink Howard. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the worst jokes I ever told. <laughs> hey, John. Oh, well. You know, well, I don't know. That's bad even for you. That's even for me? <laughs> oh, right. gee. Hey, Roy, uh, John, what do you say? How old is Roy Scheider today? I'm going to say 60 also. 60 also. Okay. The actual age of Roy Scheider is exactly what Charity said. 57 years old. He's 57 today. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Okay. Uh, let's move to October 12th, which is Monday. Columbus Day, of course. And that's the birthday of Luciano Pavarotti. And uh, we'll ask you... Nobody, uh, nobody, anybody getting nauseous huh. with that. Okay, Luciano Pavarotti, well, great um, singer. Uh, let's start with you, Bonnie. How old do you think uh, Pavarotti will be Monday? Well, I think that the fours were lucky for me before, so I'm going to say 54 this time. 54, okay. And uh, Howard, what do you say? Oh, I'll say 52. 52. Did you know they named it? No, nah, never mind. <laughs> oh, <laughs> go ahead. What? Tony, what do you say? Uh, a rotund, 55. <laughs> a rotund, I'll, I'll mark that down. Yeah, I don't have enough spaces for rotund. A well-rounded 55. I'll just put fat. <laughs> okay. okay. And Bill, what do you say? How old is fat Luciano Pavarotti? <laughs> Big fat blobby guy. Luciano Fat Louie Pavarotti, yeah. I believe. <laughs> uh, I'd say he's 51. 51 fat pounds. Okay. <laughs> and Bertha, what do you say? Could you come a little closer to the phone just so we could hear you? Uh, 57. 57. Okay. And uh, what do you say, Charity? Uh, a lingering 53. <laughs> a, lingering, <laughs> a lingering 53. Anybody else said that, nobody would laugh. But somehow you've got us all in the palm of your little beautiful hand, God. <laughs> I'm going to have uh, to call more often. You guys are oh, yeah, please, yes. Yeah. The only thing that stands in our way is your boyfriend, who's probably a real... <laughs> probably a zilch. <laughs> Get rid of him. He's trouble. He's a troublemaker. John, what do you think? How old will the Pavarotti be? I'm going to linger with charity on this one. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, what did you say? You, you, you were going to say the same she said? Oh, yes, yes, 53. 53, I see, okay. Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> For me, an older person to sit here and watch love just bloom all over the place. Love bloom. <laughs> okay. Love and bloom. <laughs> you know, On can Broadway. it be the trees, or the breeze that fills the trees with rare? You know, the lyrics to that song are really stupid. Let me just say, love and bloom on Broadway. <laughs> oh, no. You know, it isn't uh, the breeze. You know what it is. It's, it's you know, you see, love and bloom. He still didn't do it. Didn't do what? Love and bloom on Broadway. Oh, love and bloom on Broadway. There it is. Broadway. <laughs> Okay, the actual age of... Know, after the third time I asked you, it really lost its luster. Yeah. <laughs> it really was kind well, of... What luster it may have had, it was gone. Have to rub some more of that gold bomb there. Yeah, <laughs> the gold bomb, yeah. Luciana Pavarotti will be 57 Ooh. years of age. Am I, am I the closest? Uh, that's Bertha said 57, right uh, on the button. Yeah, uh, Tony said 55, which was good, which would have been the second closest. Yeah. Get half a point. No, you get nothing. Thank you, you get nothing. Nothing but sand thrown in your face. <laughs> uh, Bertha said 57. We have a lot of, uh, well, we have three winners. Of one apiece. Night. Bonnie, Ch that's right. Bonnie, Charity, and uh, Bertha all have one apiece. And uh, they're all our lovely women. <laughs> and let's welcome them now <laughs> as they the wander club. on stage. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, Tuesday the uh, October third. Uh, uh, no, that's not the thirteenth. Yeah. That's a, a special day for me. That's a special uh, Tuesday. Yeah, that's your anniversary. Yeah, that's right. Oh, happy anniversary! Thank you. That's right, too. Son of a gun, you and and the very lovely Heidi. Oh, I'm sorry, Heidi. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, celebrating their first wedding anniversary. Isn't that that's really nice? Has it been a year so soon? October yes, it 30th. Has. Yeah, they were married on the. Friday the 13th, which comes on a Tuesday this month, which is very <laughs> ominous. Yeah. Anyway, it's the also the birthday of Art Garfunkel. Uh, Art Garfunkel uh, has a birthday, of, of course, of the team of uh, Simon and Garfunkel. Oh. <laughs> you did, <laughs> didn't was, know that, did they? No, I <laughs> thought wasn't it was sure. some other Garfunkel. Yeah, I thought, yeah. It, was, I thought it was Abbott yeah. and Garfunkel. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's mm. it. A lot of people think it's that, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's start with you, Howard. How old would you say Art Garfunk Garfunkel will be on the Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> if you can get it out, I'll guess the age. Okay. 51. 51, says uh, Howard. And uh, Tony, what do you say? Oh, he's pushing 53 easily. 53 yeah. easily. Okay. And uh, Bonnie? Oh. Um. I think he's more in my decade. I think he's about 48. Okay. Bernie, oh, you like the way 40. she said that? Her decade. Her so decade we have from is 40 nice. all the way up to 49. That's right. We, that's right. We, the decade we don't know where she is. I'm in the very, decade. very bottom range. <laughs> okay. So it could be 40, 41, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is just a darn lovely. And Charity, who's in the, well, you, you'd be in the 20s decade. Is that right? Right. Oh. Okay. How old would you say Art Gar Art Garfunkel will be this coming week? Uh, let's try 49. Oh, yeah, let's try it. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have even wanted to no, try 49, it. No, 49, 49. 49, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. If Tony had said, let's try 49, I would have been totally opposed to the idea. <laughs> oh, Charity, that's But right. you make it sound just so darn nice. And I was 20 years off of it. I had to put my ears up. I yeah. wasn't quite sure. <laughs> I, that's what I thought. So. What do you, and what do you say, John? How old do you think uh, Gar Garfunkel will be? Who? Gar 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 Garfunkel. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say 48 also. What What do you mean the benefit of the doubt? <laughs> I'm not sure. I, uh, I don't know. Quite. Well, it's hard to tell how old he is with that hair, do I mean... <laughs> He's had that hair I, uh, all his life. What hair? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Bertha, what do you say? I'll say 51. 51, says Bertha. Same as what Howard said. Yeah, Howard. Okay. He's pretty good at Howard. Howard is pretty good. He, he hasn't has. guessed. He hasn't <laughs> got, he's got one. He's got none. No I haven't got it. It's not none. None. <laughs> but uh, huh. when, when you're in love, when you're in love, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> does it? <laughs> Bill, what do you say? I say he is 53. 
you wonder now, we've just been spreading the word love and we've been getting kind of excited here. Yeah. Do you think we'll respect ourselves in the morning when the sun comes up? <laughs> right now, well, never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, oh. Art Garfunkel on Tuesday, the 13th, the date of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Tony and Heidi Nesbitt, their anniversary. Oh, that sounds uh, so old. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except when you say it's their happy first anniversary. anniversary. Yeah. To them. That's right. A very happy anniversary nice. to them. Uh, Garfunkel would be 50. And let me see. So we have a charity said 49. Looks like Howard and Bertha are getting together there. Well, Ber Bertha and Howard, that said 51, so they're close on the other side. Mm. So they are the three winners. That hair fooled me too, Bill. Oh, well. Okay, Bertha has got two correct answers, and so does Charity. Bonnie has one, and uh, Howard has one, though. Oh, boy, that Howard, he's good. He's something, huh? <laughs> you know they named the grasshopper after him? <laughs> okay. Now, now, this is Bertha. Did you hear about uh, how they made the format for the presidential election? They you have mean Mr. the debate? Do you talking about the debate? The debate, yeah, yeah. yeah. They have Mr. Bush, and then they have Clinton, and then they have Peral. Now, Peral is going to look awfully short. So they were thinking of putting the box so we could step in the box. Wouldn't it be funny if they put him on Clinton's lap and then Quail can talk about her father? Like old Kelly McCarthy. <laughs> I see. No, hold okay. on, wait a minute. I see. No, no, your your voice is sort of uh, fading off in the, the dis distance, and we couldn't hear you all that clearly. You think uh, we're right, talking right. about putting somebody on somebody's lap like a ventriloquist dummy? That's right. Then Quill have go after. Um... Quill, where's Quill come into this? Well, Quill because he was uh, against that. Uh... Television, uh, yeah, but he but Quayle won't be debating. He'll be debating on the next one. You're talking about the vice presidential debate? Yeah, but y'all have something to talk about. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. I'm trying to figure this out. You said Perot would be on Clinton's lap. Right. And then you brought in Quayle. I, 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 was, I lost you. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, Tony. Oh, what, what, Tony, don't you have a sense of humor, Tony? <laughs> Blood does that have to be spelled out even more clearly <laughs> for you? Wait a minute, it's, one of, it's cerebral torment. It's one of those riddles. You have, to, you have to understand a joke in order to laugh at it? No. What, what kind of a I'm person are you? I'm inside where it counts. <laughs> okay. Maybe I have a perverse sense of humor. Yes, you do. You have a terribly perverse sense of humor, and I wish, we wish you'd keep it to yourself. Okay. <laughs> okay, Thursday, we have a couple of interesting birthdays on Thursday, which is October 15th. Jack Hart, is he young? Is he down there? Is he? Is, is, is that his birthday, yes, October 15th? Yeah. Oh, son of a gun. So October 13th is you and uh, Heidi and... Oh, what a week this is going to be. I know. Hold we'll exactly. be partying every night. I could have everyone else guess if we need an extra birthday. Okay. Well, we don't, actually. But <laughs> thanks, just the same. <laughs> okay. No. Penny Marshall ah, is Laverne. A, of Laverne and Shirley and also the director of League of... Their Own. Uh, their Own, the, uh, the movie. Big. Penny Marshall. Married to uh, Rob Reiner at one point. And another point, she was not married to him. So it depends on what point you're looking at her. Uh, two points. Two Before points. she was and after. Okay. We're going to start with you, Tony. How old do you think Thanks. Penny Marshall will be Penny Marshall. on October 15th? Mm, 48. 48 years old, says Tony. Okay. And uh, what do you say, uh, Bertha? Uh, 46. 46. Okay. And what is... No, never mind. And John, what do you think? Oh, she's going to be 47. 47. What do you say, Bill Wilson? A talented 48. A talented 40, same as Tony said. I like the confidence in that. I feel better about that guess now. Okay. <laughs> All right. And uh, Bonnie, what do you think? Now, she went to high school with my sister. Did she really? Yep, and uh, she was up in my house a few times. No kidding. Now, yeah, now, where, I, now where, where, where did your sister go to we school? We went to school. We lived in the Bronx. No kidding. And so I'm thinking how old my sister is. My sister's going to be 48. So Kenny's either going to be 48 or 49. I'll stick with 48 also. 48 also. Okay. 
Is she a nice person? Did you I like her? I don't remember. My sister's a lot older than I am. <laughs> oh. A lot older. <laughs> didn't, you, didn't you say you were in the early decade well, of the 40s? Well, I was a little kid, too, too. Oh, that's right, too. That's right, we're too. We're talking seven, eight years. That's, that's right. That's, that's, right. A, that's a big difference. Yeah. A big difference. Yes. And her sister probably beat her up a little bit. Absolutely. Right. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Charity, what do you say? Uh, let's try 49 again. 49 oh, again. Oh, sure. <laughs> okay, and Howard, what do you say? I'll say 49. 49 oh. also. Oh, he's sweet on Charity. Yeah. You can tell. Well, Charity yeah. said if an answer before I did, I would have guessed whatever she said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, all of it. I can see why. Well, well, Charity. well, actually, Charity actually came the closest. Uh, uh, Penny Marshall will be 50. Oh, oh she must have gotten left back. <laughs> What's that? She must have gotten left back. Yeah, if she went to school. That's right. Yeah. So I get a point as well. Howard and uh, and Charity both yeah win that one round, and so let's see what uh, we have now. We have two for Howard, and uh, we have uh, oh Charity has three. three. Yeah. Oh, you know she's not. If you win, Charity, I must tell you because normally we give out very kind of worthless gifts, <laughs> but in this case, in this case, I'm going to uh, steal something really nice. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to steal some. I'm going to steal something out of an expensive jewelry store. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Would you like anything from FAO Schwartz? Would you like a giant stuffed panda? Any anything at all. You you just tell me, sweetheart. Okay, okay anything you want. Maybe a little silver something. A little silver no. something from yeah, that's right. It'll be gold something, I know. Okay, Bertha has two, so she's doing okay, and so does Howard. I have two and uh Not Howard. He's I'm telling you. Oh you can't it's stop Bo and Bonnie has one. <laughs> Tony Bill and John, you're a bunch of losers. I'm so ashamed. Oh, I would think so. <laughs> I just hope that uh, Mr. Traffic, your boss, is not listening now. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Traffic, Mr. Limousine. <laughs> hey, Linda Lavin's also a uh, Linda Lavin. Is it? Does it have an S on the end of it? No, no, just plain Linda Lavin. She has a birthday Thursday, October fifteenth, also. And uh, let's see if you can guess her age. Let's start with. Uh, with you, John, how old will Linda Lavin be? Fifty-six. Fifty-six. What do you wow. say, Howard? I'll say fifty-three. And Bertha? That's the lady from Alice. Fifty-five. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Bertha? Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Okay, and Bonnie? I'll say uh, fifty-three. Okay. Uh, Charity? Uh, Fifty-four. Fifty-four. And uh, Tony? 54. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to think about it for a little bit, do no, you? No, no, no. 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 I was trying to, I had a different age, but I said forget it, whatever Charity says. <laughs> okay. He'll think about it when he gets home. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, oh, that, that, that sounded like quiet a quiet about it. That sounded like a threat, didn't it? That was a His wife is probably listening. <laughs> well, that would be the day. <laughs> yeah. You think she listens to this program? She's got better taste than that. <laughs> Bill, what do you say? She's a cheap, stingy fifty-nine. A cheap, stingy, slutty fifty-nine. Hey, wait a minute. Who are you talking about? <laughs> Linda Lavin. Oh, all right. I talked okay. about my wife for a second. <laughs> 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 I, uh, I, uh, she worked, she was staying in a hotel I was working at in, uh, San Diego, and I worked room service, Ooh. and she didn't tip me. Oh, oh, I My see. Wife, oh, really? No, Linda, she, <laughs> Linda laughed. She, she ordered a, uh, bottle of wine. Yeah. And, uh, the fisherman platter. <laughs> and, uh, I didn't bring lemon up with it, so I didn't get a tip. Is that the reason that she oh. tell you that? Yeah, that's it. She said, there's no lemon here, you she get asked, no tip, she, punk. she asked for the lemon. I went back down, got the lemon. Yeah. By the time I brought it back up again, the fish was cold. So I had to go get her another plate. <laughs> really? <laughs> and so on and so forth. And, uh, yeah, and I ended up getting stiffed after the whole deal was over. Oh, oh I'm so well, let's sorry. let's make her 70-something. So yeah, I, so yeah. I got her. lie about it, Norm. <laughs> How old is she today? 85. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, uh, Linda Lavin will be on October fifteenth. Will be fifty three. Uh, Bonnie and uh, and Howard both said fifty three. Thanks, Thanks Jerry. I think we have a three way tie here. A two way tie. Three way. Let me see. Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Add it all up, and you get the secret. Yeah, tie. that's right. The secret count right. as well as he. That's right. As well as he reads copy. <laughs> Nobody ever said, I never made the claim I could read. That's why I do a talk show like this. You can read, you just no. can't count. 
<laughs> Howard has three. Uh -huh. And uh, oh, Charity has three. Still holding a three. Yeah, and uh, Bonnie has two. And Bertha has two. And that's enough, Uncle Norm. I think that's about it. Yeah, uh, that's Tony, that's okay. Bill, and uh, and John. None, none of you have anything. See, Fifty-three was my original answer, but but what the heck? I was okay. We'll have to break this time. What about uh, Friday, October sixteenth? Is the birthday of Susan Summer? Who is it, Susan? Suzanne. Suzanne Summer. Summers. Suzanne Summers. <laughs> You're right. You can't uh, I can't read. I can't read. I'm thinking about her thigh thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the fat away. Oh, stop it. You're driving me crazy, Bill. Just stop it. Okay. I wonder if she uses that go bomb there. You're never going to stop with that, John, are you, huh? What show yeah. was I know she, she on? I know she drinks Three's a little bit. Three's Company, and she's yeah. on another show now. She, uh, yeah. She's on a situation comedy now. She is? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, she did. Uh, where She is apparently on an abuse trial, and her, what, her father was an alcoholic right. and stuff? Right. Yeah. Was she an abused child also or not? No, oh, just the father was an alcoholic. Just a son, the daughter of an alcoholic. That's right. He was so drunk he couldn't abuse her or anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't make, mean to make light of that because that's not a pretty situation. No, it isn't. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Let's start with uh, you, Bill. How old do you think Suzanne Summer Summers will be on October 16th next Friday? I think she's a lot older than she looks. I think she'll, she'll probably be 49. 49. Okay. What do you say, Tony? You want, you want the charity to go first, then you go after that? Yeah, yeah, could you? Okay, Charity, what do you think? Oh, my gosh, that's not fair now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say 51. 51, and then what will you say, Tony? <laughs> uh, no, she's 48. 48. Well, there goes that romance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right well, she, did, she, tempted, she tempted me with her charms on 54. I said I was wrong. You think I was going to be tempted a second time? You're right, but I had to fight it. <laughs> I had to fight it. <laughs> okay. Bonnie, what do you think? I think she's 48. 48. you got a cute little voice, too. You're okay. Thanks, you so. do, you <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Howard. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to get to I, her voice to me. I have not me. <laughs> Bertha, what do you say? I read her book. She's forty-six. You read her book. She's forty-six. That doesn't even rhyme, for God's sake. <laughs> I read her Bix. She's forty-six. Something like that would rhyme. <laughs> I read her book. She's forty. Sook or something. But <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? <laughs> okay. I'm uh, to guess the age is not be a poet. Wow, <laughs> that's uh, I don't I, that, that was profound. I don't see that in my script at all here. I wish it'd be <laughs> that yeah. We'll I'll have to edit that out later <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Howard, what do you say? Well, I'll have to say forty-seven. He does have a cute voice, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he really does. Yeah. Uh, John, what do you think? I'm going to try forty-eight. Who's who asked you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. The actual age of Suzanne Summers Come is... On, 48. Mama needs a new parachute. <laughs> no, she's actually 46. Oh, and Bertha oh. said she read the book and thus she knew the answer. Right. And uh, so we have a three-way three, uh, tie of three. And we have six <laughs> minutes left. That's right. We're going to go off the air in a few minutes. Uh... How about oh, another? Uh, how about Jack Hart? I know that one, so I, I, I'm out of the running completely. So, okay. How about uh, uh, Angela? What did you? One, one of you just said something. One I of you ladies. My, I said my birthday's on the 28th. Does that give me an edge? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Anything you want, it's okay. <laughs> Angela Lansbury uh, <laughs> is, has a birthday October 16th. Also, Friday the 16th. It's a mystery to me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start. Let's start. Let's start, with, let's start with you, Bertha. What do you think? How old will Angela Lansbury Angela be? Angela Lansbury is just ten years. Oh, I've got ten years on you. I'm going to say sixty-seven. You say? I'm sorry, sixty-seven. Right. That what you said? And she has ten years on you. That means you're seventy-seven. Right. No kidding. Okay. You are good with numbers. Yeah, though. you are. You you are. I'm very good with numbers, but you sound younger than that. Uh, Charity, what do you think? Um, 
I'll say 62. Okay, could you do that? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, oh get, God. okay. <laughs> well, that's very nice. <laughs> okay, and Bill, what do you say? She's a pain relieving without all that stomach upset. <laughs> <laughs> 68 years old. <laughs> okay. Doesn't, and she doesn't contain any aspirin either. <laughs> John, what do you say? Did my voice break then? Yes, it did. Yeah. There about four pieces. <laughs> now, I've kicked it around for a lot of years. And I wondered why it held up as long as it did. Uh, John? Well, I think she's been married 50 years, so I'm going to have to give her... Uh, a 70. A 70, we call her. Okay. And uh, let's see, Howard? I think I'll go along with uh, 71. 71. Yeah. She was making movies back in the early 50s. She has been around for a while. Yes, that's true. She's very talented. She can sing and dance and everything. That's right. One of her first movies was The Picture of Dorian Gray. Mm. She was also on stage in a, in a thing called the Mad Woman of Shio, which I remember seeing her here in Boston on stage. Bonnie, what do you think? Um, I think she's 65. 65. Okay, and uh, Tony? I'm trying to What's the name of her TV show? Murder, She Wrote. Murder, Murder She Wrote. Yeah, okay. Murder, She Wrote. Right. That, that oh, has wow. uh, Tom Bosley, right. who does the terrible New England accent. That's right. You've commented on that. Oh, right? He left, though, to become Father Darling. Oh, that's right. <laughs> He's been off the show that long? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Father but Bell. because you still see him on a, on a ton of reruns with that same awful accent. Anyway, how old do you oh, think she is? she's a, uh, hmm, 69. 69. And that's oh. all she wrote. Okay. The actual age is 67, oh. and Bertha said 67. So I believe that Bertha is the winner. Let's see now. Let's tally this. So Bertha has four correct answers. Uh, Charity has three. And uh, Howard has three. And uh, let's see. And uh, I think that's about it. Bonnie Second has one. Thought. You're not good with numbers. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> Bonnie has one correct answer. I have two so correct answers. Bonnie? Let's see. Yes. yes, I'm sorry you do. <laughs> Tony's right. Get the tone board. I guess I did just I just did, I just did prove the point. Bill, Tony, and John, your your numbers were easy to add up because they come out to zero. <laughs> but I was, and I, was I appreciate that. Five O, so I, I really wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Five O, <laughs> you were paying attention to the zero oh, I see. in it. So actually the winner is uh, is Bertha. If yeah, you will it, yeah, if you will hold on, Bertha. She won last month. Did you win last month? Oh, yes. You sent me a beautiful book. Oh, thank you. And I love your pens. I'll never send your things back. Okay, that's very good. That's part of part of the note along with it. Okay, hold on, and we'll, we'll turn you over to Tony in just a minute so we can get the information and from you. Just, just for the heck of it, we'll send something to charity, too. <laughs> <laughs> you want charity to hold on so you can get her a name and address also. Yeah, Okay. Hey, John, always nice to talk with you out there in Amherst. Thank you, Uncle Norm. Okay. And also good to talk with you, Howard. Thanks a million. Yeah, Norm, if you if you tape the Jack Benny special and you want to send me a copy, I'd love to see it. I, well, don't I, haven't, I haven't taped it yet, but, but I will. Send me a note with your name and address. I'll see if I, I can tape it and I'll send it to you. I certainly will. Okay. And okay. thanks for playing the game with us. And uh, let's see, Bertha, we'll hold on to you because you're the winner and we want to get your name. Thank you, too. Thank, thank you. you. Bonnie, hey, thanks. Thanks a million. Well, Norm, thank you. And I just wanted to let you know there's a kid's book that's written about um, the three little pigs. Yeah. And it's written from the wolf's point of view. Oh, he really? says he was framed. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's great. Hey, thanks a lot. I'll, okay. Uh, take, take care. We'll talk, hope to talk to you soon. And you too, Charity. You're okay in my book. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thanks for calling. Hope we'll talk to you again soon. You will. Okay, good. Bye-bye now. And uh, thank you, Bill. We'll, we'll hear your report in about 10 minutes. Yes, sir. Okay. And, of course, uh, also... Uh, uh, Tony and, uh, and all of that. It's time to say goodbye, as a matter of fact, because we we got to sign off now. 
On behalf of Tony Nesbitt, the entire crew, the lovely Marilyn Goralik, myself, the almost good-looking Norm Nathan, proceed tonight, or I hope to talk to you tonight at 11. Uh, it should be a fascinating program. Please tune us in. Bill Buchanan, Ernie Sanders, Swasso, and I, and I, Norm Nathan, WBZ Boston. Another one out of the vault and onto the internet forever. Everyone was in such good spirits. This was a fun one for sure. We will continue the fun next week, closing the vault and leaving this world a little sillier than we found it. For Jack Benny cameos, especially when they come with a story. Snow White living in sin. Jack the giant murderer. Goldilocks, that freeloader. Jack and Jill fetching more than just a pail of water. Yiddish interjections. Barry and Elliot, Jordan's Furniture. The Motion Odyssey Movie Ride. Lasers. Sofas with a secret. Beautiful ladies with great voices. Hawaii Five-O. Mike Levy infomercials. Howard the Grasshopper. Well-rounded, rotund, fat guys. Lingering. The breeze that fills the trees. Losing its luster. Abbott and Garfunkel. Trying 49. Giving the best of the doubt. Starter marriages, perverse senses of humor, FAO Schwartz, Mr. Traffic, Bill Buchanan, Ernie Santasuaso, squeezing the fat away with a thigh master, the cheated, tipless Bill Wilson, and Norm, not good with numbers, Nathan. I'm Tony Nesbitt.